hi there once again welcome back to my youtube channel in today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to use conditional formatting to change the status of grades using excel so we're going to have our criteria so from 0 to 50 you should show fail and then from 51 to 100 it's going to show pass so this is going to be our criteria and then we're actually going to display the status and after that we're going to use the conditional formatting to indicate that so whenever a student passes it's going to it's going to show green with the text pass when the student fails they're going to also display that show you red okay so if i change the status to 67 you can see it's going to change the status to pass so i'm going to walk you through how to do this we're going to follow this criteria to do that so subscribe to this your first time and don't forget to turn on post notification so what i'm going to do at the moment is i'm just really going to clear this i'm going to clear this and i'm going to walk you through how to do this now we're going to use this marks and i'm going to still use the same information i have over here now we are going to write a very simple if statement to display the status for this student so we have our marks already we can actually update our marks any way we want to so as we proceed we can actually update the marks so now in order equal to so this is going to be if so if the value we have over here that's the max is greater than 50 we are using this criteria so it should be greater than 50 so 0 to 50 should be fail so anything greater than 50 should be a pass so we're going to say if greater than 50 don't give me comma then into code we're going to say pass so this is the condition we want so anything aside this if this condition is not true then that should be what fail so that's basically what we want so this should be in quotes close this and hit enter so at the moment you can see we are getting pass this is because the value over here is greater than what 50 so let's assume i put 50 over here you can see this will change to what fail okay anything less than 50 50 and less should be fail now we can just drag this formula down we can drag this formula down you can see how amazing this is going to update our status now when we are done with everything now we need to actually use the conditional formatting how do we indicate the fill with the red label and then the pass with green label that is what we're going to do so let's just highlight the entire status and then we'll go to conditional formatting we click on that and then we'll go to new rule we're going to create a new rule and over here what i'm going to do is that we're going to use this option format only cells that contain so select that and then under the cell value we're going to select specific text so we want to indicate the text so the text that is going to be there should be pass so once we have them pass as a text we're going to click on the format and we go to the field and then we select green for that because that is going to indicate the pass so click on ok and then we click on ok so at the moment you can see anywhere i have pass is indicating what with the color green so that is the conditional format we have to actually do this for the fill as well so we go back to the same process go to the new rule and then use the same process again format only cells that contain we'll go ahead and select specific text and this time around we'll just say fill so we do this go back to the format and then now we we'll select red click on ok and then click on ok so you can see now everything here is highlighted and when i change this kelvin from 67 to probably 45 it's going to change the status to fill so basically this is how the conditional formatting work using red and then the green label for our status it's like subscribe for more videos like this till i come away again bye bye